The problem is that clouds are dynamic and not a single entity. They consist of many different elements that are all unique. Each element requires its own authentication, authorization, provisioning, licensing, SLA, technical support, contracts and billing structure. The majority of my customers do not rely on a few cloud services. More than often they want to run a large number of different services. These cloud adoption characteristics create challenges when you want to adopt multiple services from one provider or even pursue a multi-cloud strategy. The variety brings cloud sprawl, giving management many pain points. Multi-cloud environments are complex and cloud service brokerage can help with their automation bringing services together, optimizing both cloud to cloud and on-premise to cloud environments. The operator of a cloud service brokerage can be a service provider, vendor, distributor, or even an IT enterprise. In the vendor space, in certain geographic locations, you may need multiple cloud service brokerage to take care of all brokerage tasks. CSBs are subject matter experts sitting in the middle, assisting with a wide range of cloud enablement challenges. They broker relationships between the cloud and consumer and they apply to both public and private clouds, serving all of the cloud service models, infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. They can act as a third party company or even a local team within an enterprise that provides this intermediary between the cloud provider and the cloud consumer. Gartner claims CSPs have three prime roles, aggregation, integration, and customization. Aggregation enables the consumption of cloud via a cloud application marketplace. Integration ensures cloud applications efficiently and securely exchange data with each other and with on-premise applications. Customization is the enhancement of the cloud services with tailored changes, for example, to the data schema or hardening the security in some kind of way. Many CSB offerings take the form as a platform are a suite of technologies that enhance the base services available through that particular cloud provider. The current landscape is dominated by platforms and aggregation points, offering a single pane of glass that sits in the control plane, tying in aggregation cloud providers and their services all together. This allows you to pick and choose what you want to run and when you want to run it. Many claim that cloud security is on the tips of all CIOs' tongues but public clouds are pretty secure. It's actually the pricing of using cloud services. Clouds are obviously dynamic, so, so their usage and pricing changes dynamically too. If cloud services are not utilized correctly, it may be more expensive to run them in the public cloud than actually locally within the enterprise. For example, if you want to deploy a VM of a certain spec in a public cloud, a CSB can tie in all the pricing from all major tier one providers, for example, Google, Amazon and Azure, through their APIs and display to you via a CSB portal which cloud provider is cheaper to run that particular instance. Also, organizations will have multiple cloud service providers builds for various infrastructure for service, platform as a service and software as a service platforms. CSBs have much better relationships with cloud providers and can bundle all your cloud services into one single bill. 